What's going on guys? It's your boy Noah from Kicking Their Bass TV here with another video and um, this video is going to be over the recap of the Fat Sack Tournament on Lake Hartwell um, this past Saturday. So um, I'm pretty much going to explain what went down and everything. I ended up taking first place. Um, I fished alone and just had a great time in general guys. Um, so how it started, I was sick the whole week and I wasn't going to fish the tournament and then Thursday I started to feel a little bit better and so I ended up pre-fishing Friday so I went out pre-fish found some fish um, on some spots that we actually fished like probably a year and a half ago I have some YouTube videos from Hartwell a while back ago um, so went to some of those spots found some good fish and I already knew what was going to happen um, Friday that morning bite was on you know you're throwing the top water you're throwing your big swim baits you're getting those good bites and then once it hit about nine ten o'clock those fish just shut off as like a switch and um, they would just stop biting and then you have to go to like a drop shot and or like a swimming hornet lures dude um, stuff stuff like that um but for the most part during the tournament drop shot was key um, top water I caught one fish on so this is how it went down um, went out there and in the morning you, I didn't see any action um, there wasn't much action on top which kind of worried me I thought it was gonna be like morning bite you know that you were gonna get so I, I would go to every spot I would throw top water I would throw my top water then I would throw my swim bait then we move go to the next spot did that for about three spots and then one spot I saw some fish on the grass so I was like alright I might as well drop shot see if I can get fish in the boat so drop down um, caught one it was just a small one so I was like whatever it was just like a 14 incher so I just threw him in the box um went to the next spot and i was actually about to cast i caught this on video it was pretty sick i was about to i threw down a trolling motor i was about to cast and then a fish just like barely to my right i just saw it out of the corner of my eye just barely came up they weren't schooling or anything i saw like something hit the top of the water so i literally just tossed my top water over there worked it it was a little it was a chrome speak worked it a couple times and the fish just came up poof ate it um got that fish in the boat that was about a three pound largemouth um, that was the only large mouth of the tournament that I got that was a keeper. Um, and then pretty much the rest of the day, I just went out drop shot. And, and when I mean the wind was bad, especially by the dam, the wind was bad. We went all the way to the dam. Um, the wind was bad, guys. It was around 20 miles an hour. Um, and when you're trying to drop shot in 20 mile, well not 20 mile per hour winds, I can tell you that is hard. Um, it was pretty tough. But I, I drop shot a lot, guys. And I've learned really well. I've learned from some of the best people with the drop shots. So... Um, I could get down there and catch those fish. It was really tough, though, to be completely honest with you, especially when you're having the drop shot for those fish. I mean, those fish just aren't biting, you know. It was even hard for them to bite a drop shot sometimes. But I ended up getting a um, solid limit, I would say, of about 13, maybe 14 pounds by 8.30. So by 8.30, I had that, and four out of five of those fish were on a drop shot. So I went to that drop shot fairly early um, once I got a couple good bites on it. got caught about a four-pound spot on the drop shot. Um, if you guys haven't seen the video, I'll put the link at the end of this video. I'm sure you guys will enjoy that video. Um, but overall, when you're trying to finesse for this fish, man, like that, that finesse, those fish are just shut off, you know, um, especially with the wind. Um, but yeah, I ended up coming in first place with 15.42. Um, I had one dead fish, and it's just because it's so hot, guys, especially when I'm pulling those fish out around 30 foot of water. I'm on that brush on those humps. It, it's, it's just not good for the fish. Um... So here's my drop shot rig that I was using. Got that little tiny hook right there. It's um, kind of like one of those little octopus hooks. I can't think of the name of it. Um, I just pretty much have like a morning dawn worm on or a hologram dawn. Um, I believe this is Martin's Magic. It's pretty much a pink worm in general. They were just eating that pink up that day. Um, and just a regular circle drop shot weight, not the straight, straight ones. Um, it's just about a foot from the weight right there. Um, and what I have going on is I have braid right here, and this is 20 pound braid. Um, 20 pound to 10 pound fluorocarbon, and that's a uni to uni knot. I don't know if you guys can see right there. So I got a uni to uni knot connecting braid to fluorocarbon, and it's very important that you match up the line right. Um, for my drop shots, I, I like 20 pound with 10 pounds, so 20 pound um, braid with 10 pound fluorocarbon. And why is that important? If you um, say I get like 60 pound braid to eight pound fluorocarbon, they would actually cut through each other. Um, it's really weird, so you gotta pair it up right. So for a drop shot, if you're looking to do like braid to fluorocarbon, go with like 20 pound braid, 
and 10 pound fluorocarbon do a uni to uni knot make sure you do it properly i'm sure there's some good youtube videos on it i, I might end up making a youtube video on that soon um and also another thing when you're tying your drop shot make sure your hook is pointing straight up make sure you run your line back through the um eyelid of the hook so your hook's pointing straight up that's very important on a drop shot um but that's pretty much my combo i just got it on a mojo bass um drop shot rod um it works for me guys this is really an inexpensive rod it's around a hundred dollars um just the mojo bass series by synchro rods but it's really great rod works for me um this is just one of the aura aura s um abu garcia spinning reels and it works great guys i mean i have two of these i have two of these combos and they're pretty inexpensive combos i mean it's around 150 bucks for this combo right here and it, it works phenomenal i've had it for a couple years so can't go wrong with it guys um so going on to like the top water rod i was using um, I do have just like a regular chrome spook on. Um, I love chrome spook, especially in that sun. The sunlight hitting that chrome spook just flashes. Those fish love it. Um, they just weren't active that day. Um, and they're not going to be active every day. So, But the fact that I got one fish on it was pretty cool. Um, so I have it on a Legend Tournament topwater rod. And this is a 6 8 medium power extra fast action. So that's this is meant for a topwater bait. Um, it works good for that spook. And this is on a Revo Rocket, which is a 9 to 1 gear ratio reel, and it has um, some braid on it. This is just around, I believe, 30 pound braid. Um, works for me. I don't use monofil monofilament, guys, which is line that floats. If you guys didn't know, fluorocarbon um, sinks, monofilament floats. Um, braid actually floats as well. I don't even use mono at all. I use braid for my top water, top water baits and everything. Um, the Revo Rocket is pretty much just to get the fish in the boat a little bit faster. Um, and you're pretty much going to huff that fish anyways with the braid. And so when you combine it with that Revo Rocket, I can get that fish in the boat fairly quick. Um, so that's the combo that I was using, guys, for both the baits. So I hope you guys enjoyed that. Um, hope you got a few tips out of it. If you guys want, like, a drop shot video, if you want some tips on drop shot, um, not just dropping down on the fish, but, like, casting out, um, just some random tips on the drop shot, I can um, probably go out on the lake sometime and make a cool video on that. Um, so please give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and if you haven't already seen the tournament video um, definitely click the link at the end of this video and um, go watch that I'll actually put the link in the description as well and so you guys can go see it um, so thank you guys for watching also big thanks to Fat Sack Outdoors I'll put their um, Instagram link below so you can go check them out so until next time guys keep drinking your white monsters Keep smelling yourself, boys and girls. See you guys next time.